In modern Russia, you don't need to hold a sign to be labeled a threat, you just need to show up. Russia's facial recognition surveillance system is no longer passive, it's active, live, weaponized. Across cities like Moscow and St. Petersburg, police are using real-time AI facial recognition to scan public spaces, transit systems, and protest sites, flagging individuals for potential arrest as events unfold. Here's how it works. Massive CCTV networks feed facial data into AI servers. These systems compare faces against watch lists, protest databases, and previous arrest records. Matches trigger automatic alerts to nearby law enforcement. Some systems are integrated with metro ticketing and phone tracking. People have been pulled from crowds, metro stations, even their homes, within hours of being seen at unauthorized gatherings. And it's not just for organizers, attendees, observers, even passers-by who linger near a protest can be scanned, flagged, and questioned. In 2021, during anti-government protests, hundreds were arrested using facial recognition tech alone, sometimes with no warning and no formal charges filed. Moscow's Safe City system is a key player in this. It uses more than 200,000 cameras, with AI filtering and identifying faces in real time. Authorities claim it helps maintain order, but privacy advocates argue this is state surveillance turned surgical. Because this isn't about preventing crime, it's about suppressing participation. By creating a chilling effect where people fear showing their face in public, governments don't have to ban protests, they just have to track them. Even more concerning, many of these AI systems are now integrated with social media data, facial match APIs, and machine learning to predict potential agitators. The algorithm doesn't just say who is at a protest, it starts to guess who might be next. And if the camera sees your face in the crowd, the system already knows your name. This is Virtuadamus.